Hey YouTube, Peter Bill Knife Guy. Today is a little bit different video. It was more of a, uh, or it's going to be more of a, we just had a fun day video. Me and the family, uh, the kid and my cousin and my stepbrother, we uh, hopped on some quads and did a little adventuring today in uh, the foothills of California. And I brought this guy along with me and I did a little bit of chopping when I was out there. I figured, hey, you got a new knife. We'll see how it works. Um, before we get into the video, really, it, it worked good. It, it worked about as good as a nine inch knife should, I guess. It definitely does like brush that is, or, or, or trees and stuff like that that's not dry. It doesn't have the heft when chopping through dry stuff. It, it kind of wants to, it just it just doesn't do it. It, it. it does cut branches that are alive, you know, alive stuff, pretty good. But if you don't want to watch me drive around on a quad and check out like some mines and some cabins and some old stuff like that, uh, this is the end of the video for you. But if you want to check that stuff out, I did some chopping, we rode on some quads, checked out some stuff. Just, uh, just a little recap of our day. But anyways, let's get into it. So yeah, we're just riding around here. It's going into the adjacent property off my cousin's property. There's a really steep hill climb right there. Pictures don't do it justice, but that, that's a pretty steep hill. These, uh, these roads are well maintained. They're not public road. Oh, Wyatt Earp's car. Uh, this is an old, like, miner's shack that we checked out. Old tires there. Kid wanted to go inside, but I wasn't going to let him. And in here is just garbage. Yeah. Anybody want a free mattress? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah you know. Kid wanted to go in. Wasn't going to let him. Let him go in the other one, though. This is a creek crossing. Last year, this wasn't near as bad, but it, you can't tell how steep that is. But it's fa fairly steep. But still able to do it with a kid in <laughs> one hand, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, this is on the other side of the creek. This is a... This is a it's not a year-round... or. or not a year-round creek, it's like a... It dries up every year, basically. This is the old miner's shack. There's a mine shaft right behind it, which is pretty bitchin'. Checking out the inside here. Thought there'd be, like, some birds or something in there. There wasn't. There's a kid, though. And this is runoff... Like the mine is constantly fed with water, so it kind of like leaches out, and it's not fed, but it's like this is the water table right here. There, there's water here year round, 116 degrees. There's water there. There's the mine shaft. I'm gonna check out this mine shaft. This thing kind of over the years has grown up well, quite a bit. You used to be able to walk through it. Now you can't. Hey, there's a turd knife. This cut missed, glanced, did not bad. This guy right here. Yeah, first cut, not so great. Second one went through. Yeah. I thought about uh, chopping, chopping this one on the left here down, and I'm like, nah, we can squeeze through it. Coming up on the mine here. The first time we checked it out, there was a, cra a, tra a trail camera sitting on the side of that building right there. <laughs> good luck. We got good thing we got freaking permission to get on the property though. Yeah, check this out. Twenty four seven, this thing is full of water. I haven't went in there yet. It's not that I'm scared. I just uh, just haven't done it. I need to get some waders. Um, the air's not bad. Other people have gone in there. Supposedly it goes down pretty far. I haven't checked it out yet. This is the creek. It's actually really pretty no, no when it's there. flowing, but but when it's flowing, it's like it's like too cold to even be out here. We're off property. We're we're off your property. I don't care about your opinion. Heading out from the cabin now. This road, uh, you can't tell it, but it's it's slanted pretty far to the right. Uh, holding my phone while doing this, so. I have a kid in my lap, phone in the other hand, and trying to not crash in the third. Coming up on the creek. Now, when it's flowing, you're not easily driving a quad across this. You can, but... You gotta go slow because you can flood your quad out pretty quick. There's a nice deep hole. 
this hole was not here last year. This this came with all the rains we got. We're along the river, or creek, I should say. There's a cabin up there we didn't check out. Uh, pretty neat, but I mean, it's so so worn down. You see it right there. You, you can't even get inside. Lots and lots of these stupid little oak trees everywhere. Uh, these are getting taken out because this is on my cousin's property. And uh, he wanted them gone. Told me to cut them down. So here I am cutting it down. Uh, pretty decent sized chunk for the first one. What, maybe three inches? Three, somewhere around in there, across. It bites, this knife bites good, but it's, you know, when you, when you go from an SE junglist to this, it's kind of hard to, it, it feels like a downgrade. The, the SE junglist does chop better than this. And plus, trying to chop while holding a phone in your left hand, you can tell my camera angles are off. <laughs> but it did well, you know, given the fact that I was holding the phone also. There's one cut coming up here that was slightly impressive for me, but... It is, you know, it's nothing special. Chop this guy in, uh, <laughs> in one chop. Yeah, clear all these brushes out of the way. First chop's a fail. Miss. And then this next one, I try to hit in the same spot, hit in a completely different spot, and go all the way through it. Bam. Right through it. That was impressive to me, because that's oak. That's live oak tree. So and I decided I was going to chop around right here and I, you know, this is the part I cut down. So it was just not stable and just making my life difficult branches in my face. So I decided to go to his bigger brother. This is probably a four inch log, eh, four inch tree. Yeah. Somewhere around in there. Um, it did good, but in, in this part, I realized that the part of the handle that is in the back, it, it, it does cause a hot spot. If you were wearing gloves, it wouldn't be a problem, but this Becker handle, it's not perfect. It's good, but it's not perfect. And I have never had a hot spot from the SE Junglist, but this thing did did kind of start to hurt my hands while choking back on the knife. But other than that, it chopped pretty good. I mean, I managed to get the tree down and it hit my kid too at the same time. It's pretty funny. It's not bad. I was just whittling away at it. So I'm not trying to do anything special here. I'm just playing. I'm just trying to have a have a feel for this knife. Just, just the first time I've really chopped, chopped with it. And I just want to kind of feel. How does it feel in the hand? Hot spots. Uh, does it sink in good? It, it, it sinks in. But it just doesn't have the heft I desire in a knife that's this size. I, you know, you carry a 9-inch knife, you expect to be heavy. And pretty soon. <laughs> gotcha. What the heck, Dad? So if you made it this far, yeah, she did all right. Um, I'm not super impressed with it. You know, it did about as good as a knife this size should do. Um, the junglist, I brought the junglist with me and I was gonna do some side-by-side -side comparisons, but honestly, I was having too much fun just hanging out with the fam and, and shopping some things. But anyways, thanks for watching.